Hello everybody! So a continuation of our study through mathematics, in particular arithmetic, we continue our uh, drills on being able to read and write decimals. And in this, in this context, we're going to be working with mixed decimals. So an integer portion and a decimal portion. Okay, so take a good look at this section. This is what we're going to be completing. And then we will also be working through section 19, which is going in reverse. So we have um, the words written out and we want to write the numbers. What do they say exactly? What's their verbiage, so to speak? It is express the following numbers in figures express the following numbers in figures. So that will be 19, but right now we'll focus on 18. Okay, so let me pull up my annotation software and let's get going. So feel free to join along, or if you want, pause the video and uh, using our notes from previously or the, uh, the um, textbook, which uh, is available in the GitHub repository under this video. Go ahead and pause the video and see how many of those uh, uh, assignments in section 18 you're able to complete on your own. Good luck. And if you come back after pausing the video and seeing how many you can do, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is 18. And the exact prompt is read the following mixed decimals and write them in words. So read the following mixed decimals and write them in words. Number one, what is number one? 64 64.85. In words, that would be 64 and 85 hundredths. Remember, we start at tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So that's how we count our positions after the decimal. So 64. And I noticed put a comma after so 64 comma and eighty five hundredths hundredths number two two eight nine point nine Two eight nine point nine two hundred eighty nine point nine. So this in words is two hundred eighty nine. comma and nine tenths number three four oh seven point zero seven four oh seven point zero seven Corresponding in words, 
four hundred seven and seven hundredths. Make sure that that's on a darker setting for you guys. That way you can see it better. Okay. So that was number three, 407 and seven hundredths. And now we have number four. Number four, eight nine seven point four zero oh, three. 897.403.03.403. Okay, so this correspondingly in words is eight. Hundred ninety seven, comma, and four hundred three thousandths, four hundred three thousandths. Number five. Two oh two five point oh two five. Two oh two five point oh two five. Two oh two five point oh two five. In words, this is written, this is um said two thousand twenty five and twenty five thousandths. Two thousand. And I believe is there, hmm, let's see if there would be a 2,025, I'm not sure if there's a comma after, I'm trying to look at the other notes here, huh, we won't put a comma after, they're not going to come catch us anyway, 2,000, Twenty. Oh. Twenty. Twenty five. Comma. And twenty five thousandths. Two hundred or so two thousand twenty five and twenty five thousandths. Number six. Let's see here, where is it? Go. Number six. Eight three point o o o eight or zero 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 eight. Eight three point zero 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 eight. Zero, 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 eight. In words, this is said eighty three and eight ten thousandths. Eighty three and eight ten thousandths. 
how did I derive the ten thousandths? Remember, tenths. And uh, so, yeah, starting over on the left hand side, traveling to the right, we start at the tenths position, the hundredths position, thousandths, ten thousandths. So, if there is a value in, if there's a value four positions over to the right of the decimal point, it is in the ten thousandths position. In words, this is written as AT three, comma, and eight ten. thousandths, 83 and 8 ten thousandths. Number 7. 9500.5050. Zero, 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 zero. 9500.5050. Zero, 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 zero. In words, this is written as 9,500 and 5,050 ten thousandths. Remember, four positions over. If there's a zero there, then we must indicate that this is a value that has been taken out to the ten thousandths level of accuracy even though there is a zero. So we don't ignore zeros if they are in the fractions. We have to include them in the calculations and in writing about them. So this is 9,000. Five hundred, comma, and five thousand fifty ten. Ten thousands, nine hundred, sorry, nine thousand five hundred and five thousand fifty ten thousands. Number eight, three eight four point two zero one zero eight, three eight four point two zero one zero eight. Three eight four point two zero one zero eight two zero one zero eight three eight four point two zero one zero eight. In words, this is said three hundred eighty four and twenty thousand one hundred eight hundred thousandths. So remember, if we have four decimals past the uh, or to the right of the decimal point we're in ten thousandths if we have five decimal if we have five decimals to the right of the decimal point we are now in hundred thousandths and that will be our that will be our final our our fractional portion in words this is written as Three hundred eighty four and twenty 
20. Thousand. Here we put a comma, 20,108. One hundred eight hundred thousandths. Hopefully you guys can see that last little bit. Yes, just enough. Good. And eight hundred thousands three hundred eighty four and twenty thousand one hundred eight hundred thousands and we have to put a hyphen between hundred and thousands that way we know that it's a fraction very good so now i need to go ahead and pull up a new page go ahead and uh we don't need to save this so let me clear the board here. So hopefully you've been copying these down or you can take a screenshot or just go back in the video. And delete. Oh, okay, let me escape and I'll leave the prompt. And now our next, we did eight. So now we do number nine and we then are halfway there. So hopefully you've been taking some breaks here in between. It's good for, it's good to study, but not all in one chunk. So number nine. Seven zero nine zero three point six zero zero five zero seven zero. Nine oh three point six zero zero five zero six zero zero five zero and this corresponds to seventy thousand nine hundred three and sixty thousand fifty. This is going to be hundred thousandths as well. So 70,903 and 60,050 hundred thousandths. Why? Because it has five, five decimals to the right. Hopefully I didn't just bang your ears out. We good? Okay. <laughs> My apologies. Here we go. Seventy thousand nine hundred three and sixty thousand so we'll have just enough room to do the 60 up here and then we'll do thousand down here 60 thousand 50 and these are hundred thousands once again you notice that we cannot ignore that last zero because it shows that we have been able to take this value out to that level of accuracy. So we have to maintain the same level of accuracy when we're speaking of it.
70,903 and 60,050 hundred thousandths. Number 10. 8, 0, 0, 0, point 8, 0, 0. 8, 0, 0, 0, point 8, 0, 0. This corresponds to 8,800 thousandths. Eight thousand and well, I forgot a comma up there as well. Eight thousand and eight. hundred thousandths eight thousand and eight hundred thousandths notice no hyphen between hundred and thousands otherwise that would shift us all the way over and eight would have to be five positions to the right of the decimal point so pay attention to hyphens Number 11. Okay, so this is actually the very thing I was just talking about. 8, 0, 0, 0, point, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8. So, 8, 0, 0, 0, point, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8. So here's that little difference I was telling you about to make uh, to watch out for the hyphens. This is eight thousand and eight hundred thousandths. Looks to be the same as the one just above it. So what's the only difference? We'll put a hyphen in between hundred and thousandths to to denote that we're not talking about eight hundred thousandths. We're talking about eight hundred thousandths eight thousand and eight hundred thousandths Eight thousand and eight hundred thousandths. Number twelve. So this is in this particular application. Uh, they, I, if you uh, took a look at the notes and you reached this point, you're probably wondering what they're wanting here. And notice the wording, they say the following mixed decimals. That means that every single one of these problems is supposed to be a mixed decimal. Number 12 looks like it is just the decimal portion and it doesn't have an integer. What they're implying with this problem is adopt the integer portion of the previous problem and only the decimal portion will be different. So once again, we have eight. Zero 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 point zero eight zero zero eight. So the only difference between twelve and eleven is the decimal portion. So this is the same. We could even do a ditto mark if we wanted to show that it was the same. Zero eight zero zero eight. And then in so in words and then written out this would be eight thousand eight thousand and eight 
thousand-eight hundred thousands. Eight thousand and eight thousand and eight thousand eight hundred hyphen thousands hundred thousands eight thousand and eight thousand eight hundred thousands number thirteen nine zero zero point nine zero zero nine zero zero point nine zero zero in words nine hundred and nine hundred thousands nine oh it was hundred and nine hundred thousands no hyphen between hundred and thousands next problem number 14 only four left to go. Woohoo! So, same problem as before. The integer portion is left unchanged. Only the decimal portion will be different. So, this will be read as 900.990. 0, 0. 0. So, we leave the integer portion alone. Point nine point nine nine. Zero. In words, this is read as nine hundred and nine hundred ninety thousands. Nine hundred and Nine hundred ninety thousands. Same fractional length as the previous problem. Nine hundred and nine hundred ninety thousands. Number fifteen. Six point zero 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 six six point zero 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 six six point zero 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 six right there are five one two three four five okay so I did one too many zeros four zeros followed by the six in words this is read as six and six hundred thousandths six and six hundred
thousandths. Six and six hundred thousandths. Notice the hyphen again. So one, two, three, four, five, five decimals to the right, hundred thousandths position. Number 16, will we have room here? I think so. I think we'll be able to get it to fit on the line. Number 16, 42.0402, 42.0402. In words, this is read as 42 and 402 ten thousandths. Notice 10 or 4 decimals to the right of the integer or of the decimal point, meaning that we are working with a fraction which is uh, a ten thousandth. Ten thousandth. So from the top. Forty-two and comma and four hundred two ten thousandths. Forty two and four hundred two ten thousandths and four hundred two ten thousandths. All right, so that is through sixteen. We've got two more, and I need to clean the board. So, because I'm not fancy like the uh, the boards at MIT where they just press a button or they just roll them up. That was so much fun. There's one really neat video um, taken, I think it was multivariable calculus. Uh, it was Dennis Aro, and he was wiping the board clean, uh, and he was he pressed the button, and all three of the blackboards started to move at the same time. So he was cleaning one, and then as the other board came over the top, he then cleans the board that had come down on top of the other one, and then a third board came down. So all three. Uh, came down and he was able to clean one clean the second clean the third so he got a he actually got a, a bit of a uh, um, a clap from the students they were all cheering for him it was pretty cool definitely worth looking for I can't remember which lecture it is if someone knows in the comments then let me know and leave a little timestamp in the uh, in the comment section all right so let me go ahead and clean the board I got distracted with that story and didn't clean my own board. Mine is not as impressive. There we go. So, finally, 17 and 18. Seventeen. Oh. Here we go. Seventeen. One zero zero point. Zero 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 one. One zero zero point zero 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 one. Okay, we see the pattern here. The words one hundred and one hundred thousandths. And notice what they're doing here is they're training us to think in terms of the fraction hundred hyphen thousandths. So that's the key to look for here. One hundred and one hundred hyphen thousandths. One hundred and, oh, I can't forget my comma. One hundred and one hundred thousandths. 
And our final one, 18. I believe, right? Uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, because then 19, that is simply taking words and translating them into numerals. So this is 18, which is 100.100. 0, 0. 0, 0. One zero zero point one zero zero. Okay, and this one is one hundred and one hundred thousandths. Only difference between seventeen and eighteen is the is the presence or the absence of a hyphen. Eighteen will have no hyphen. One. Hundred, comma, and one hundred thousandths. No hyphen to show that this is one hundred thousandths, not one hundred thousandths. All right, so that is eighteen. All of 18's homework, all of 18's homework is done. Now we're going to move on to 19. Don't worry, I'm not going to write out each of these. That would take way too long. So all we're going to do is simply read off the words and then just write the numbers. Okay. So let me go ahead and copy the prompt though. What is the prompt? 19. And the prompt is express the following numbers in figures. Express the following numbers in figures. So express the following numbers in figures and by figures of course they mean arabic numerals all right number one so let me just read it off number one is two hundred thousand two hundred number one two hundred thousand two hundred 200,200. Number two, 12,000 and two thousandths. 12,000 and two thousandths. 12,000 and two thousandths. Number three, Eighty-eight thousand and three hundredths. Eighty-eight thousand and three hundredths. Eighty-eight thousand and three hundredths. Number four. One hundred and one hundred thousandths. And there's a key here you if if you saw those notes so it's 100 and 100 thousandths there was no hyphen between hundred and thousandths so we know that they want this form they don't want um they they don't want one hundred thousandths when they probably will in one of the later assignments just to test our our, our minds and they do number five Number five asks for one hundred thousand and one hundred thousandth and one hundred thousandth. So one hundred thousand and one hundred thousandth. Remember, tenths hundredths, thousandths, 
ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, one hundred, and for some reason my eyes were playing tricks on me. I think I didn't make the the decimal point large enough. So that's one hundred thousand and one hundred thousandth. Moving on, number six, three thousand one hundred thousandths, three thousand one hundred thousandths. Now this one's interesting in that there is no integer portion. So we write a zero and we have to look at our, we have to look at our fractional portion here, which is hundred thousandths. This means that if it's a, if it's hundred thousandths, we know that we're going to have to have a total of five decimals to the right of the decimal point. And if our value is 3,000, right? Because this is number six, yes. This is 3,100 that one hundred thousandths. Well, 3,000 is already, that's already four. That's f that, that 3,000 requires four digits. So that means that we have to put a zero before to the immediately to the right of the decimal point before we begin the fractional portion, which is three zero zero one. This is three thousand one hundred thousandths, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths. So this is three thousand one hundred thousandths. And number seven. And hopefully, I might I might have to pull this up for you guys so you can see what I'm looking at. That way you can reference it. So if you're following along with the textbook, then you will know that we are on number seven, which is eight thousand and eight thousands. Okay, so let me just quickly scroll through this so you can see what we're working through. And there will be a total of 15, so we're already on number seven. But these are all of the problems that we're working on, okay? Once again, the textbook is in the GitHub repository below this video. So let me show the notes again. And number seven. So seven is eight thousand and eight thousandths. Eight thousand and eight thousandths. So eight thousand oh. and eight thousandths eight thousand and eight thousandths seven eight five billion sixty thousand two hundred five billion sixty thousand two hundred so we start with our five billion, we put a comma down, then we're on our millions. There's nothing in our millions, so we put in the zeros. Now we're in our thousands period, and we do a 60,000. And then finally, in our hundreds period, we have 200. No decimal point required. Five billion, 60,200. Five billion, 60,000. 200. Number nine, 306 million six. 306 million six. 306 and then million. Nothing in our thousands place, so that's all zeros. And nothing in hundreds, tens, but we have six in the numerals place or the ones place is another way to say it so 306 million six 306 million six number 10 48,200 and 200,000 and two hundred thousandths 48,200 and two hundred thousandths 48,000, 
two hundred and two hundred thousandths. So five decimals to the right, hundred thousandths position. There are two hundred thousandths. So forty eight thousand two hundred and two hundred thousandths. Number eleven. Three hundred seventy five thousand sixty and four hundred ten thousand and four hundred ten thousandths. No hyphen. So three hundred seventy five thousand sixty and four hundred ten thousandths. Three hundred seventy five thousand two. Uh, make sure I'm looking at the right one. 375,060, so nothing in the hundreds place, the 60, and 410 thousandths. 410 thousandths. 375,060 and 410 thousandths. Number 12. 75,400 and four hundred ten thousandths. Seventy five uh, seventy thousand four hundred and four hundred ten thousandths. Seventy not seventy five thousand, just seventy thousand four hundred and Four hundred ten thousandths. Four hundred ten thousandths. So ten thousandths requires us to have four decimal places to the right of the decimal. So therefore, if it's four hundred ten, that means that we will need to have a zero to start off a leading zero, followed by four hundred ten. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So seventy thousand four hundred and four hundred ten thousandths. So I actually need to get rid of that one because that is inaccurate. It's just four hundred ten thousandths. Number thirteen. Sixty thousand fifty and sixty nine ten thousandths. Sixty thousand fifty and sixty nine ten thousandths. 60,050 and 69 ten thousandths. So remember, ten thousandths requires four decimals to the right of the decimal point, meaning that the two leading decimal, uh, two leading uh, decimals are going to be zeros and 69 ten thousandths. 60,050 and 69 ten thousandths. Number 14. 91 and 91 thousandths. 91 and 91 thousandths. 91 and 91. Was it just thousands? I did one too many. Yes. So thousands are three decimals to three decimal positions to the right of the decimal point. So we just have to have one leading zero. That's ninety-one thousandths. And fifteen. Our final one. Two thousand three hundred one hundred thousandths. So this has no integer portion. This is purely a decimal value. 2,301 hundred thousandths. So remember that hundred thousandths requires five decimal places to the right of the decimal point. And if we're dealing with a value of 2,301, then we need to have one leading zero. 2,301. 2,301 hundred thousandths. And with that, we conclude all of the homework for 
section essentially this was working through um what was that what was the chapter called let's go ahead and minimize that scrolling back up to the top of our chapter i believe it was arabic notation and numeration so all of the homework for arabic notation and numeration has been completed next week we will start in on the study of roman notation uh, very short for very short section as you can see just uh, two paragraphs and then yeah two paragraphs and then two sets of homework so nice and short we'll be able to knock that out no problem next week all right thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day and congratulations if you made it this far in the video all the way from the beginning <laughs> hopefully you bounced around and took some breaks here and there but thanks for joining along if uh, if this sort of content appeals to you or if you like help with mathematics or uh, computer science or language studies then feel free to subscribe to the channel like this video um leave a comment in the in the comment section if you like it share it with your friends and uh just keep on learning. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.